Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to the Angry Cast in No Man's Sky, and the continuing onslaught of stupid quests that we really don't care about, but we're going to do anyways. <laughs> uh, where the hell am I? <laughs> I warped to a news station, and pardon me, I am chewing on Irish soda bread because it is St. Patrick's Day, though you won't get to see this until after Easter. But that should tell you that I am... I am kind of not, uh, I'm not, I'm not that far behind anymore. Or, not, yeah, I, I've caught up, or, you're catching up to me. Um. Let's see here. Let's go, let's go, let's go here. Let's go to there. Arr, Eleven. Oh god, it's been a while since I've actually played this. Ugh. It's like, I, you switch between different games, and you forget all the controls and how to play it. And a new update came out, and where are we? That's exactly where we're trying to go. Are we? I'll find it. Hold on. Better yet, let's go to a planet that we haven't been to yet. Oh, shit. What the hell? Here we are. Uh, to do what we need to do. And what is it we need to do? Well, I'll tell you. Uh, let's see here. The log says, we have got, for scientific research, we've got to scan four creatures. Should be easy. Should be easy. We set the final. Oh, there's plenty over here. Okay. Ooh, that looks like, like a new thing. So, yeah, so what's been going on? Oh, it's just space week. <clears throat> what's been going on is that we have been doing one of the every specialist, uh, one of every specialist quest along with the main quest line to get him out of the way. And I don't know if this is the best use of our time, but we're doing it. In fact, I had actually thought about maybe just recording the... What is that thing? Is it? Just rec Oh, that's Star Bramble. Okay. Just recording the footage, clip it together, and then do a voiceover, but I don't even know if I have time for that. So, I'm gonna do this. And besides, we need to have a little talk anyway. What is this thing here? Is this gonna get me in trouble? What is that? Uh... Well, it wouldn't be the turn. Never mind. <laughs> Is this going to get me in trouble? Well, we look like we're getting chlorine out of it. So it's just a new element that they've added in. There's been several updates, mostly stuff for, like, the multiplayer aspect. But, you know, that's how it is. Let's get in the water and see if we can find some animals to, to scan. Where are you at? Take them. The, it feels like the, the controls have gotten a little stu you know, stiff. Maybe they did some updates there, too. This is going to be an oddball. This is going to be one of those oddball uh, things where it's just like I'm just farting around to fart around because I don't have any plans. Which is, you know, accurate. Um, I mean, we have so much to do. That's the sad part. Is there really is no shortage of, of things to do in this game that we haven't done or haven't talked about yet. But the problem is, is, is it's taking us so long to get there because the stupid... What is that? that oh, that's just the, the shimmer of the water. Come on, there we go. There we go. 
There we go. Thank you. All right. We did 411. We only need four to complete. Return to the scientist. We'll do that along with the other stuff. But these sidebar quests and stuff, which are part of the main storyline, take up so much time and so much effort. That's why this game, and I've, I've said it before and I'll continue to say it, is not about getting to the end or, or, or you know, completing or doing stuff. It's about just enjoying the experience. It has nothing to do with checking a box, you know, on, on a completion, you know, on a quest, on a complete... It, it's just those are things to help you just sort of get to that point. It's not about uh, skills, it's not about experience, it's not about points, it's just about a an environment of, of exploration and chill and it's for fun. And I saw already that, that you can move your save files to the PlayStation 5, so the game is it's five years old and they're going to move it to PlayStation 5. Because why not? As long as it's got an online um, aspect to it, multiplayer aspect to it, they're going to continue it. And not to get done off the path, but the same thing goes for like Grand Theft Auto 5. They're going to have Grand Theft Auto 5 on PlayStation 5 because Grand Theft Auto Online is still a thing. I don't know why, but it is. Okay, we... I fixed that issue. Oh my, that's a little bit better. Might be too much. I'll have to adjust it later on and see how bad it is. <clears throat> There's the uh, control options for the look sensitivity. I don't know how I got set to 10, but... Oh well, I'm not here to judge. Uh, okay, so that took take care of that one. We gotta do Frostwort, we gotta do Gravitino Ball, and we gotta interrogate the pirate. The pirate. And that is in another system. Where did I go to the wrong spot? No, I'm in the right. Where's the damn? Oh my god! I'm gonna have to fix. <laughs> I'm gonna have to fix that. That's a little bit too sensitive. It's a little bit of a snowflake. This look sensitivity is. Uh, where is that warp the zizidu? Maybe it'll be here somewhere. Uh, no, no. no. Well, shit. Oh, where is it at? Where is this pirate at? Locate the pirate. Okay, he... Well, okay, maybe they're all in the same thing. So let's just go... Let's just go... Let's just go back to unknown signal. Ooh, interesting. Go there. Why not? Fuck it. Level up. Who cares? <laughs> I'm just an idiot because it's right here in front of me and I didn't even do it. Ah, <laughs> missing pirate! Missing pirate! If you know, if you're reading his fundamental kids, I'll tell you something. Alright, much better. Much, much better. Uh, where is the... Yeah, he's here. He's here somewhere. <laughs> we'll find him. I'm just doing this because I don't want to. I don't want to travel anymore. I don't want to transport anymore. I just want to find find the missing pirate. Where? Uh, oh, we're getting somewhere. Oh, we're getting closer. Where the hell is he? Is he on? At the Honestly. Down? Oh, is he on my planet? You piece of crap. Oh, for P. 
Pete's sake. <laughs> Cripes. And of course, you know, we're not actually going to interrogate somebody. We're not going to hold a gun to their head and get them to talk. It's just a guy walking around, this guy walking around, that was going to answer some questions. And we're going to, like, uh, you know, shame him into doing the right thing. Yep, there you go, see? Oh, man, do we, are we supposed to, like... Well, what if I don't accept them? I well, okay. All right. Are there like some kind of a decision I have? To... All right. Well, you know, dude, you stink. I don't care. <laughs> okay. What? We got, I think I. Let's check out what we got. So we got to go back to the scientist. Go back to the armor, and we got to grow some frost wart, which we can do. We can go check out our, our one of our bases and, and take care of that. And then we can... Uh, let's see here. Expand the base. We have to go ga gather a Gavitino ball. Do that. That's fine. And then we do a uh, leap in the dark. Which is we got to locate the mysterious distress signal. That's the big thing we got to do. Activate a portal. That's our, that's our second half of objective that's going to take the most time, probably. Although you wouldn't know it, the way things are going. The way they, things are shaping up on this particular... Thing. Oi, okay, where is our base? Pair, is this... Should we go to... Let's go to... Uh, let's tr uh, Okay. So, yeah, that's, that's right over here. Okay, cool. But they're not actually that far. <sighs> yeah, 15 minutes away. 15 seconds away. Um, so that's basically what we're doing. Not exactly sure... If my best bet, again, is to record and then copy over. Here's the reason why. I can sit here and do all this, and I'm afraid to edit out stuff that I may want to keep in because I'm talking like I am right now. And so, therefore, I sort of fill the gaps with commentary. Not that it's anything interesting, but you never know. Uh, the second idea is to, say, just record everything together, splice it all together, edit it, and then record a voiceover for it, which is fairly simple. However... It basically... What the... Oh, okay. Whew, I was like, what happened here? Uh, it basically just could be a, a five-minute episode, the way, you know, the way that goes. So I'm not exactly sure in, the, in those cases. I might I might consider that, though, because it'll probably go quicker. I mean, 15-minute episodes probably would not be a harmful thing at this point. Uh, let's go get ourselves a Gravatino Bowl. Oh, boy. And then, right, maybe, I think we're going to just go get some Frostwort and be done with it. Err, come on, dude. Oopsie. Oh, God. I am s my... What the hell? Uh, oh, yeah, we had that. That was it. All right, let's go get see if we can get some frost wort. Maybe that'll satisfy the. Uh, it says grow and harvest it. Maybe I have to actually do that in the in the plant thing. I don't really want to want to. Let's see if that's enough. I gotta you gotta love the music if anything else. Um, let's see here. Agricultural research. Grow and harvest. Let's see what it does. Growing. Oh, bugger all. Okay, so what we're going to do is... We need to do it in a hydroponic tree. Summon the blah, blah, blah. Alright, let's... Am I going to... Oh, shite. Okay, good. I didn't... I uh, was afraid I was going to actually... Uh, farming. Frost what? Oh, I need dioxide. Hold on. Hold on. I need dioxide. 
Oh my goodness, I've got a lot of stuff in my... Wow, okay, what, I gotta... Wee! Dioxite. We need some dioxite. What are you, Mr. Dioxite? There we are. Boop. We'll put it all away off camera as not to bother you with that information. Oopsie. Alright, and then we all have to just wait. Return to the farmer. What are we gonna return to the farmer for? Let's 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 collect all these things while we're done. Okay, come here. Give me it. There we go. Oh, wait a second! Ha <laughs> ha! That's interesting. So, I planted the frost wart, and I had frost wart. I don't have to do it one... I, I, I did it out of order. All I had to do was plant it and collect it. It doesn't matter how I plant it, or how I... Or it matters how I plant it. It doesn't matter how I collect it. Well, that's an interesting little thing. And... <laughs> I'll take it. Shit, I don't even need to do that. I can... Doesn't matter. What's one more thing? Alright, uh... Oh, and he gave us a solar vine seed. Okay. All right. I'm gonna. We're gonna. And, and the thing is that we're gonna do the exact same thing the next time. Just. To, we're not gonna do it the right way. We're gonna do it our way. <laughs> yeah, because that's how we do. <laughs> not going to do it the right way. We're going to do it our way. I think... Oh, no. He's... Okay. Well, he gave us blueprints for a star shield battery. Don't really... Not caring about that so much. And then... Oh, okay. Huh. Okay. Sure. Interesting. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know why I did that. Hand it in. We all win. Unstable gel. I didn't, and again, we, these are things we already know how to do because we did all of the farming stuff ahead of time. And now we're doing the quest to t teach you about it. Because those were the old update and we went with stuff from the newer update. Alright, All right. these are our next set of quests that we will do. So that's agricultural research, weapons research, scientific research, and expand the base. We've got to, uh, we've got the Gravitino Ball. Does that not count? Oh, okay. Well, geez. <laughs> Come on. What's the next thing we got to do? Talk to you. There you go. We know your number game. We got it. We know, we know what's going on. Yeah, and vo no, okay, sure. Give him you can have it. I don't care. Go play with that. All right. So he's going to give us yeah, okay. He's going to give us a new quest. Which is probably... Oh, he's giving us more information. More diet. Okay. Wow. Huh, okay. Expanding the base. Next thing we have to do is return to the overseer. What? No, that can't be right. That can't be right. Oh, okay. Yeah, gather more. Dye. Okay, I gotta wait for these damn things. I, I don't give it enough time. I'm too... I'm, I jump on it too quick. So our next set of quests we'll do next time, if I remember to do it, is to gather ion batteries to grow some Mordite, or gather, I should say, Mordite. Uh, go destroy the planetary depot and harvest some solar vines, and the same way we did that way. And then now we're going to go take on a leap in the dark. After I do a lot of inventory management, because holy crap, my my shit is full. Wow. 
I, I don't know how this happened. I floated. Am I standing? I just, I somehow ended up over here. Okay. Well, you know, I mean, you know, I'm talented like that. So. <laughs> okay. So now this is interesting. I didn't notice this when I was standing on super awesome fun time base. Wow. Super duper on to awesome fun time base. Wow. By the way, it said mission out of range. You can press, I think, R3 to recalibrate it to use the structures nearby. That I was, I, I did not know you could do that. So you don't have to keep traveling. But I did travel to the space station that had, you know, the unknown call that actually had it there so we could do this. Because I, 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 I did want to go, I came here for a reason. I think what I, had, and this is just me remembering past me, because here's the thing. Past me is always looking out for future me. Even though future me hates past me, or present me always hates past me. Because I hate everything I've done in the past. But I always had a tendency to help myself out later on and, and not realize it. And quite honestly, present me doesn't take that into account whenever we do something. Does that seem metaphysical, you know, existential to you? Well, it, it is. But the idea was that when I recorded the last episode, I purposely went to the location I needed to be at to do this quest, left myself in that, um, let myself that, left myself in that space station so that I could go do this, and then I picked it up from there. Unfortunately, present me, of course, doesn't remember or like anything that past me does, so I ignored all that and went about my way and did everything else. But I think it kind of actually worked out in my favor, because here we are, finishing up our uh, our episode with doing this particular quest. And we've located Artemis's, I think, grave. Yeah, ask who's there. It's, yeah. They're not going to ask you, they're not going to tell you something. Oh, there they go. Basically, the Sentinels killed. I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to tell you now. If you don't already know. <clears throat> yep. I mean, I think that's kind of stretching it to call them your friend. I mean, we we were pen pals at best. So, yeah. Okay. Contact Apollo at a hollow terminus. Uh, okay, and that will be the next thing we do. Because it is somewhere around here. But anyways. So, that's, so that was pretty much it. <clears throat> We've, uh, you know, done those things. We will go back and do uh, three more of the quests for the specialists and another part of, you know, the main storyline to get it out of the way so that we can finally move on to feeding hungry animals or thirsty animals or just opening up our own little restaurant in space and do other stuff and, and find a living, uh, living ship. That would be another cool thing to do because those are things we had not done yet because we've been farting around with all these old quests that have no uh, thing. And, and I understand, oh, find them at a, but we did find the hollow terminus at a, at a different location. So maybe we'll kick off with the next episode of going in and taking care of that quest first and then doing the specialist quest last. Sound like a, like a good idea? I don't know why I'm asking you. You're not gonna, you, you won't answer. <laughs> oh well, the hell with it, here we go. 